What is up YouTube? This is Owen Dow here. Today I'm going to be discussing with you guys Matt Zippos, in case you can't tell. Uh, um, so oftentimes people will come on and watch my videos for the first time and then they'll be like, hmm, you know, Zippo collecting seems kind of cool. I think I'm going to go out and get some. And then oftentimes they'll go out and get some and then they'll actually send me a message and they'll show me a few of them that they get. And oftentimes one of them that they'll show me happens to be a red Matt Zippo. And more often than not, in fact, pretty much like 95% of the time, they'll be like, this one is my favorite because it is made out of copper. And uh, yeah, that is what this video is going to be talking about. So as you can see, I've got two red Zippos. And uh, if you do take a look at it, it does appear that it's made out of copper. All right. That's what this video is going to be focusing on is the red mat Zippo, because unfortunately, no, you're actually wrong. The red mat Zippo that you bought is not made out of copper. And I've got an array of Zippos here to show you guys as examples. So as you can see, that's what it looks like. It does indeed appear to be made out of copper. Here's this other one. <clears throat> you can also see, appears to be copper. Now this, unfortunately, is not the case. As it turns out, Zippo has this uh, fancy <clears throat> lasing uh, technology that they do with their with their matte Zippos, where when they, you know, coat the Zippos in the matte coating, um, they then laze off the bottom stamp. All right, with a very nice like laser that etches it off. Um, actually, if you look at uh, much older matte Zippos, I actually don't remember the date that they started doing the lasing, but the ones prior to that date actually do not have the uh they're they're matte even on the bottom stamp and if you look at those the reason why zippo started doing this is because those have very difficult to read bottom stamps in fact it's almost impossible to date them as without taking like a nail or something and scratching away at it so you can see the markings properly so that's why they started doing it but when they do that it actually leaves behind a very thin layer of the matte coating and that is what I'm going to be showing you guys. So I've got a bunch of Zippos here just to show you this. If we take a look, the one that's most obvious is actually the white mat. Well, actually, it might not be that obvious to you guys yet because I haven't really shown you all the examples. But here's the white mat. Anyway, you can see that it does look to be kind of like a frosted brass color. <clears throat> Almost like, well, again, actually, it there is a very slightly, you know, opaque white layer of what used to be a matte coating on there. That's why that looks like that. All right, take a look at this blue one here. You'll see, we can kind of get it to focus, that the brass almost looks kind of green. That's not the lighting. In fact, here's a, a nice white light just to prove that to you. That isn't really the lighting. It really does kind of look green. So there's that one. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. This this orange one. You can see definitely the whole bottom stamp looks very orange in comparison to even this one. Just to give you guys a little side by side. You can see that's not the light playing an illusion on you. I just show that's not like a, an optical illusion. Here's a small piece of paper that if I fold it up one more time, lay it on there to cover up the, uh, the coatings. You'll see they do indeed have a stark dish difference. So that's not just something to do with the fact that one's orange and one's blue. Well, actually it kind of is, but it's not like a light trick or anything. So there that is. The one that is the most, like, true to its form, if you will, that I've noticed is the uh, the black mat. The black mat, it looks basically just like brass under there. I don't know if this one just doesn't, comes off in the most, th in, stays on in the thinnest layer, or if they're just able to really get off the black mat ones for some reason. I'm not really sure. Actually, I have another black mat one here which doesn't have a can bottom for some reason. I don't know why, but you can kind of see again, the black, the black mats are the most prevalent uh, or not, not the most prevalent. The black mats are the ones that look the most true to their, uh, 
to their original metal look. And finally, here's the blueberry mat, <clears throat> just to give you guys a look at that. It again looks kind of green compared to that royal blue Zippo. In fact, here, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with the royal blue Zippo. Just so y'all can see that. So, there you go. That pretty much is it. Yeah, um, unfortunately, the uh, um, your red matte Zippo is not actually made out of copper. Um, a lot of people get really, really, really excited and they're like, oh my gosh, I got a Zippo that's made out of copper. And unfortunately, Zippo hasn't really made a pure copper lighter in a very long time. Um, if you want to get a Zippo that looks like it's made out of copper, Zippo does make an antique copper, which I bought this one last year and I've actually carried it quite a lot. So it looks quite old. <clears throat> they actually don't look like this when they're brand new. Um, but just to give you guys a little comparison here, actually mine's quite tarnished, but even still they do look pretty similar. So it's very obvious to me that yes, these do get confused very easily. If I had actually, in fact, if I had bought a Red Matte Zippo as one of my first Zippos for my collection, I would have thought the same thing. I would have definitely thought that it was a copper Zippo, but it's not. It is, in fact, a uh, just a, a brass under there that has been, you know, it's just been, <clears throat> the bottom's been lazed off and the very thin layer of the red matte coating has been left in there. In fact, let's pop off, let's pop out the insert. And I'll show y'all the inside. And it's very clear if you take a look in there. Oh, I gotta, let's put this on the low setting, that it is brass. See, there's the outside. There's the inside. And actually, let me do the, let me do the same let me do the same thing with my uh, antique copper Zippo because this actually fooled me. I thought the antique copper Zippo was Zippo going back to making pure copper Zippos, but it's actually it's just a copper plate. If you look in there, actually that's kind of a bad example. In the lid, you can really see it. They uh, it's just a brass Zippo that they copper plated. So, yeah, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this particular video. Just wanted to clear up that little misconception that everybody seems to have when they, when one of their first Zippos happened to be red. Um, hopefully, I'll find this useful. Uh, recently, actually, somebody recently did send me a message and they showed me a red matte Zippo that they had bought, and they're like, it's made out of copper. And I don't think I actually corrected him, <laughs> but uh, he did kind of inspire me to make this video because it is a very common thing that people tend to get confused by. So hopefully I'll like this video. Thank you so, so very much for watching and adios. Well, as you guys can see, I'm in the process of putting all the Zippos away and I had forgotten to show you guys the bottoms of these. So I'll just show you that real quickly. I was going to make a point that the neon Zippos that Zippo makes even has some of that coating left behind on it. You can see that. And the orange one is actually a little bit less prevalent than it is on the orange mat. The orange mat definitely looks quite a bit more orange than the uh, the orange neon. And the neon yellow looks like that. So, there you go. Just a little quick addendum because I, I meant to show these, but I completely forgot until I was putting the zippers away. So, for real now, thanks for watching.